بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شاہ علی صدری وسیر علی امری والو الاغدت امیل لسانی افکہو کولی This is Shairoz Abdullah and today we are going to take start the third lecture of our class 10th physics chapter number 10 The topic that we are going to discuss is simple pendulum Do remember one thing whenever we discuss the topic in physics we need to understand the terms meaning what we call word analysis the first is simple mean easy to understand like quite simple setup right pendulum the word pendulum is derived from pendulas which means hanging let me discuss word analysis the word pendulum is derived from pendulous which means hanging okay now what is simple pendulum a body of mass m any metallic sphere any metallic bob when of any mass say m attached to an inelastic string and tied to any rigid support this is what we called a simple pendulum how we can define it the system formed by attaching a metallic sphere a metallic sphere of mass m to an inelastic string and connected to a rigid support called simple pendulum so simple pendulum is quite easier in simple pendulum uh, we can say that a, a system formed by attaching a metallic sphere of mass m attached to a rigid support and connected with a inelastic string so we call it simple pendulum look this is what this is a rigid support this is what this is an inelastic string this is metallic sphere of mass m okay now this is a rigid support this is what this is inelastic string and this is metallic sphere metallic sphere okay so this is whole setup is known as simple pendulum now on which principle it works it works on the principle of simple harmonic motion it works on the principle of simple harmonic motion as that we can say that a directly proportional to minus x it obeys this principle okay now what should be the ideal condition uh, what should be the ideal simple pendulum what can be the basic criteria for a simple pendulum to be ideal conditions for conditions for an ideal simple pendulum okay there are three conditions the first the length of this string should be fixed it should not extend or it shouldn't be stretchable number two the 
mass of the string should be very less compared to the mass of metallic sphere okay okay done okay so this is how we do with it now let's discuss the working theory of it what we do with the working theory look this is the same pendulum let me explain it over here like yesterday's topic mass attached to a spring we are going to explain the same the same pendulum we are having like this what we have done we have applied an external force over here we have applied an external force over here and brought the metallic sphere to a certain point a say this is point o and say this is point a what i did i applied an external force in this direction in the meanwhile this metallic sphere was experiencing a restoring force as well which is in opposite direction okay now what i do when i reach at point a f external force becomes zero i remove the external force actually so what we do the metallic sphere does not the metallic sphere starts coming back to point o but it does not stops at o due to inertia it reaches to another point say this point is a dash okay this point is what this is a dash okay now this is the same pendulum we uh, from the initial point we have applied an external force okay and we have brought the body to point a at reaching this point we have removed the external force after removing the external force the body of mass m started moving from a to o but it does not stops at o due to inertia and reaches to another point a dash and continuously it is moving between a dash o and a do remember one thing or here this a and a dash are called extreme points these are called extreme points and o is known as mid point or you can say equilibrium point equilibrium position or you can say central position is it clear till here okay now what we are going to discuss further we will discuss look we are going to discuss certain derivations uh, now what we do at point a this is what this is point a now at point a the body of mass m which has certain weight w it has two components over here let me draw that over there components of weight at point a components of weight at point a look at point a what happens the first is weight of the sphere which is downward like this and second is tension in the string at point a this weight w has two components the first is weight which is downward okay which is downward and second is tension in the string which is upward now what further we do we resolve this weight component into two rectangular components look we stretch it back like this 
this weight has two components this is horizontal component and this is vertical component right so horizontal component and vertical component we can derive look horizontal component we use cos theta right wx divided by w so we can write that wx is equal to w cos theta and vertical component and vertical component so we can write sin theta over here sin theta is equal to wy divided by w so we will get wy is equal to w sin theta so these are two components of weight we have driven from the discussion done okay no problem at all now look this is a certain angle over here that is 90 okay now at point a if you see this wx is balanced by the tension in the string okay at point a what at point a what happens the horizontal component wx is balanced by the tension in the string while the only component is left that is wy which is responsible for the oscillation of pendulum between two extreme or mean positions right look this a and a dash was extreme positions while o was a mean position over here so we can write like this restoring is equal to w y we will write minus sign over here so we can write like this okay done okay now this w y is equal to w sine theta w sine theta Since we know that W is equal to mg, so we can write like this, F restoring minus mg sine theta, minus mg sine theta, done okay? Okay, now if we consider this region, look, this portion if we consider, we were having a setup like this. We were having a simple pendulum setup like this. This was, say, say this is O position. This is what? This is O position. This is the length of the string of simple pendulum. Let me call it L. Now, this is metallic sphere say this is m now it is oscillating between different points like this it is oscillating like this now what we do we classify we select this is what look look this is also length of the string say this is point o say this is point Q say this is point P now if I consider this portion that is basically X Ye kya hai? that is X okay now from the triangle OPQ we can write that okay triangle o p q from triangle o p q we can write that sin theta is equal to x by l okay now we will replace the value of this in the equation star okay so F 
restoring is equal to mg into x by l is it clear till here any problem okay over here if we see this m is mass which is constant g gravitational acceleration which is constant almost length which is constant so the only component left is x the only component left is x so we can write that f restoring is equal to is equal to constant into minus x or f restoring directly proportional to minus x is it clear till here fine uh, now let me call this equation one now we know that from newton's second law f is equal to ma say this is equation number two now comparing equation one and two comparing equation one and two we get right so we are going to get ma is equal to minus mg x y l right so we remove this m from both sides right and okay over here in this expression if you see this g and this l both are actually considered constant so that will be equal to minus x minus constant into x so we will write that a directly proportional to minus x is it clear which is basic condition you can say which is basic expression or principle for simple harmonic motion which says that uh, if simple pendulum if a body obeys this principle if a body obeys this principle so that body can be considered as a, 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 a simple harmonic oscillator okay so this is working principle of simple harmonic motion it means that simple pendulum obeys this principle which clearly states that simple pendulum performs simple harmonic motion it is one of the example of simple harmonic motion is it clear till here done so that is all about that okay thank you so much jazakallah for your time